GitHub has more than 420 million repositories, including at least 28 million public repositories. More than 80% of contributions to GitHub are made to private repositories. Developers across GitHub make more than 413 million contributions to open source projects. This phase of development and collaboration is remarkable and it's a testament to the power software has in shaping our lives. Every single contribution you make has the potential to change your life. Whether you're building your GitHub board or fixing a bug or adding a feature to a project you personally use or just fixing typos, every pull request you submit moves you one step further in your development career. GitHub the new resume. GitHub is the new resume and every contribution builds your collaboration skills while associating your name with a massive community of driven individuals, making software for fun and profit. You don't have to make massive changes to make a difference. Just helping out wherever you can is more than most people ever do. You get a job! You don't have to code to contribute. You don't have to co contribute code. So many projects would love for someone to help them with writing documentation is an equally valuable contribution. There's no time like the present. Let's learn how to find an open source project and make your first contribution. It's showtime. Step 1. Find a project to contribute to. The first step to find a project to contribute to. Instead of browsing millions of projects on GitHub, use the explore menu at the top of the screen. You can browse by topic or focus on topics like good first issues or contributions welcome. Best place to start contributing through is with a project you already use. Check out the package.json or go.mod files in your project you use. All these projects are open source and might need your help. Step 2. Checking the issues queue. Once you have found a project, take a look at the issues queue. Find something you feel comfortable working on. This is also a great opportunity to start a conversation about an issue before jumping in. Okay, we have some issues here. Step 3. Read the project's readme. After finding an issue, the next step is to check the project's readme file. Look for any specific rules or guidelines for contributing. Every project is different, so this step is important to ensure you're following the correct process. <laughs> I can't read. Step 4. Fork the project. Once you have reviewed the readme, it is time to fork the project. Head to the top of the page and hit the fork button. Choose yourself as the owner, leave everything else unchanged and hit the create fork button. Now you have your very own copy of the project. Copy that. Step 5. Clone the repository and create a branch. Click on the code button and copy the URL of your fork. Open your terminal, clone the project and create a new branch for your changes. This is where you'll do the work. Step 6. Make your changes. Now it's time to start coding. Whether you're fixing typos, updating documentation or introducing a new feature, be thoughtful and considerate with your changes. Remember, someone else's code is their temple. Don't walk in with your muddy shoes on. If you're interested in these type of videos and curious topics, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as it would really, really mean a lot. Step 7. Add, comment and push your changes. Once your changes are done, Add them, come with them and push them up to your fork. It's that simple. Now head back to GitHub and you should see your branch. Step 8. Create pull request PR. Next, hit the new pull request button. You will be presented with the screen to open a PR on the parent project. With the changes you made in your fork, open the PR and if your PR resolves an issue, mention the issue number in the PR notes so GitHub can automatically annotate or potentially close the issue. Congratulations! Whee! Whee! Step 9. Wait for feedback and reviews. Congratulations! You have completed the easy part. Now you have to wait for feedback and review. Some projects will have a strong review process while others may merge your PR without questions. Be prepared for the worst but hope for the best. Step 10. Handle feedback gracefully. Remember everyone working on the project likes, feels passionate about it. So don't take it personally if you get a bunch of feedback. It's just a part of the process. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you for your feedback. 
Keep contributing to build your portfolio. And that's how you contribute to open source. One of your comments could change your life. Keep contributing to build your portfolio and someday it may just pay off. Until next time. Work, 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 work. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Happy coding. Bye.